Did it work? Briggs. Yeah, what's up? Can you record audio on your end? Uh, audio? Yeah, just yeah, for the podcast. Yeah, he wants to put it on YouTube. He wants to post this shit on YouTube. Come on, man. No, uh, I'm saying serious. just audio. The, the YouTube stream is live. I just got the notification. Cool. Oh, okay. Just the audio because I usually do it, but I'm having some trouble on my end. I need to do something else, and then it's like, um, it's not going to work. The only problem is, so I can record a video. The only problem is, dude, I like I go straight from this podcast to another podcast, and then like I'm assuming I'm gonna have to be you got doing D and D today. I have D and D in fifty, like, like fifty minutes. Rock, can you record audio? Well, we better get this uh, started then. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I, I I would have to record video on OBS. Yeah, can you do that and then just send me the file afterwards? Yeah. And can then you I'll, need I'll, to record I'll my audio, them. Animac. I can no, do I don't need to. I, I, I just can, need the, I, I the conversation to be recorded. I, I don't need like... everyone's individually. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so truck, you, you got, you got me. Yeah, I got it, and then I'll just uh, separate the audio, send you the MP3 file. Yeah, yeah, or even if you want to send the video, I know it's, it's more uh, stuff, it's... but I can separate the audio out. But if you want to okay. do it, you can do it too. Whatever, it's easier. Um, okay, guys, let me know when you want to start. I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. Wait, wait, hey, wait, what's wait. up, everybody? Wait, oh, wait, wait, Recon, wait. Recon, no, Recon, no, you interrupted my <laughs> intro. Now we're gonna. No, that was me. Game. I needed to start the fucking recording, bro. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's literally like, why, I was, you, I was why are you blaming OBS. me? I thought it, I just, I, it's force of habit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's force of habit. Okay, hey, Truck John, sorry. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> okay, go. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Animac here from Anime I'm Pro. Welcome to another episode of the Rank of Anime podcast. Today, I'm back with my host, Truck and Briggs. However, Truck is in desperate need of some uh, service. She is not feeling well, but she still decided to come in onto the podcast because, you know, the show must come on, so we respect that. Hope you feel better soon, Truck John. Thank you. Truck and Briggs. She's got a, Truck and she's Briggs. Got a bit of ligma. I do. I do have a little bit of ligma. Still here. Well, you still sound cute even with ligma. Stay strong, Thanks, Dad. Stay strong. And we got. She's like, anime she's like a compliment. What is happening? Oh my God! I don't recon is on back in the house. Oh, by the and way, recon is back. Forget, don't forget to recon put my picture on the damn screen. I'm not putting recon it is back. We're gonna because we just said sucks. last time we would talk about some free run and and uh, you know what else is going on this season and that type of stuff. And recon is the one who watches everything and. Um, he also, you know, in case Truck can't talk too much because of her voice and everything, Recon loves to talk too much, if anything. So, you know, it's perfect. There we Recon, go. welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, the guys, the, the reason I invited Recon here today is because we are going to be talking about Freerin a little bit. And a couple months ago, when Recon was recommending what anime for us to watch and not to watch, he said Freerin's got a lot of hype, but uh, he's like... He didn't really see why it was so good. He's like, I'm not really attached to these characters. I'm not really getting emotional, like people are saying on Twitter. So I'm like, if he doesn't okay. like it, that mean that means <laughs> I'm gonna love it. So I, I had to watch it then and there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's it can be um, give and go because sometimes Recon has an opinion and the opposite of his is the right opinion. But then other times he is kind of right, kind of like you would you would expect him to like. The phony Sakai, but he doesn't. So, yeah. So you know, so there are there are times when he has the right opinion. He, he's got a five percent margin of error for the most part. I'd say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for the he's... most part, I'd say whatever he <sighs> likes, I don't, and vice versa. Correct. Anyway, I just want to say it's pretty cute that Animac is nice to truck when she's sick, but then when she's normal, she's he's mean. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a if proper you were dad. Sick, Briggs, I'd be nice to you too. It's a real, it's you a, pickle it's a... eating. Pineapple pizza is. I'm pickle Briggs. Pickle, pickle Briggs. I don't even know why. Why I said that. Have you guys been watching uh, Rick and Morty, the new season? No. No. I've what seen clips of it, but I haven't watched uh, the full episodes. Episode... I've, I've heard the the new. Who's voice Rick and actor. Morty? I've heard the new voice actor has been getting a lot of props. Yeah. Uh, for a really emotional scene, and that they they've been really liking him, Justin Rowley's replacement. Episode 5 is unbelievable. And I think if you guys haven't been watching Rick and Morty and you're Rick and Morty fans, you need to go and watch it because, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of like amazing episodes, super funny ones, super um, whatever. Not even to get into it. This one is... I'm going to describe it as being a very canon episode. Who's Rick and Morty? I am so excited that you said that because I've been, <laughs> I've been like 
I don't know. I think I was very weary when I saw the previews of watching it just because of like, I was like, oh, it like doesn't sound the same, blah, blah, blah. Like my ear like was, it was like playing tricks on me kind of thing. But I think I saw a clip. It might have been from episode five. Um, very likely. Where like it was very like, like Rick was so incredibly emotional and like it was like it, there was just so many positive reviews about the new season. I was like, okay, I have to give it a shot. Yeah. So maybe it's I'll worth binge watching. it right after. It's definitely I fell binge. behind like the previous season. I hadn't watched it or whatever or something. And then I kind of like when the whole like controversy around the voice changing happened, I kind of fell off the train of actually getting caught up before the new season. I should at some point, but for that and for South Park, I need to get caught up. I did end up watching the South Park uh, Pandaverse episode, but I haven't been caught up on the seasons in a while, so I, that's something I need to do. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's worth it. Not every episode's a banger. I feel like I was more in love with Rick and Morty for the first couple seasons. Yeah, but I, 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 yeah like I loved it when I just first discovered it. I was mm -hmm. like, yo, this is crazy. Who's Rick and Morty? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't get the joke. I don't even want I don't even want to entertain the joke. Look, are we here to talk about the, sh the the shitty show you call Rick and Morty or are we here to talk about proper anime like Fairing? Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, Rick and Morty's definitely better why than Fairing. You you know guy again breaks. <laughs> I don't know. I, so, sometimes I think uh, I'm like, oh, Honestly, it's a good idea. you let, guys let's will never know. I'm like, yeah, let's invite Rick on. It's been a while. You no, know, honestly, Recon is something. Like he's such an experience. Like you can love and hate communicating with him within the same thirty seconds. Yeah, so true. Honestly, Recon's like much like Sword Art, Sword Art Online. He's both good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I think, I think a lot of people who stick around and, and listen to the Rank of A regularly, I think they also kind of feel the same way as we do about Recon, where it's like. You you don't Love want him around, <laughs> but then when he's not around for a while, you kind of miss him, you know? I make things fun, come on. It's true. You, it's true. you sometimes do, and then you make other things terrible, so it's like a trade-off. So, Rudikon, do you still have a similar opinion on Freerun, or have you grown to like it? Um, I wouldn't say I like it. I think it's okay, but it's just mainly the same thing, really. You know, it's it's not really a complex or complicated series, but it's... It's just a lot of slice of life, a lot of backstories. It's it's mostly, I'd say, instead of story driven, it's mostly character driven rather than anything else. With you know, good world building like uh, Mushoko Tensei, it's got mostly all of that. But I think it's 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 pretty good. So it's, yeah, it's not I mean, amazing. Like, you know, you it's know, like I'm not like oh my god, I'm like I'm not like jumping out of my chair all the time. But you know, it's just like a chill day. You know, I'm just sitting there watching Freyr and it's like, oh, yeah, you know how Recon goes. Episode. Okay, Recon it's fucks with Evangelion and you know, it's he a fucks cozy, with the, it's a cozy whole real scenario. stuff. Like, yeah, that's about it. Recon you know, character fucks with deaths, I don't stuff. give a shit. I didn't cry about the characters because I barely knew them. And even though they were giving up some, you know, backstories of Freyr and with the heroes party and. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty nice. But other than that, um, yeah. What did you How how did you like in Ergo Proxy when they reference discourse on languages by Jean-Jacques Rousseau? Did you think that was a important moment for the story? Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, I, you said you said you, <laughs> was not complex enough, so I thought we would uh, get into some Ooh, real discussions, so Recon, but no. <laughs> All right, all right. Sometimes um, the no, so that, my take. Well, actually, fearing. I want you. No, Animax, since you brought it up, explain it because I probably missed that part somewhere. When was that? It will that? take a while to explain. He's talking about oh, something okay. entirely different, Recon. Don't worry. Oh, entirely different. Okay. Fuck yeah, it's no, a different anime that has a bunch of philosophy uh, references. Ergo proxy, older anime. But I um, think now I understand actually why people love Freeman, because in the latest episode we got. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Me, I've only watched three or four episodes. I've I can't... watched four episodes. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, we said we would watch the first few we and then the kind of talk four, about it. Oh, I, okay, I didn't talk know, sorry. about it. I definitely yes. wasn't going to spoil anything right there, but I was just going to say something <laughs> pervy. My take so far, I'm on the fourth episode, uh, my take is that it's like a chill anime that's inter it's interesting. It's unique in the way that it ta it kind of, the climax has already happened. You know, the stuff you'd expect the series to be about, defeating the Demon King, that's already happened. And now it's kind of like what happens after, especially with someone who lives forever. Or not yeah. forever, but for a very long time. And it's like, um, it's interesting. But it's it's 
it's very relaxed in the sense that it's the kind of thing that I can just listen to in the background dubbed while do making a thumbnail or something, exactly. you know? That's what I it's, feel like. It's so nice, though. Like, I think... It, it's relaxing, yeah, but it's relaxing. at the same time, if I want to relax, I'm going to listen to a podcast on, like, Napoleon, right? Like, I'm not going <laughs> to watch uh, Freyren, but it, it is... nerd. <laughs> anyway, um, I do think that it's chill and, and nice and stuff. I don't have too many negative things to say about it, but it's not like something that I'm like, man, I can't wait for the next episode, bro. You know what I mean? Exactly. I think that's quite fair. It's not like it's an overly exciting series, but for me, I really do think it's a, it's a, it was a beautiful anime to watch. Um, mm. It is a simple concept when it comes to aging and the elf obviously aging a lot, a lot slower or 10 years to the elf being like no big deal or 100 years being no big deal. And then her companions being humans and seeing them age and kind of leaving and coming back and they're old men and dying. Do but we know, do we know how long she actually lives in human years? I'm like sure how, she how lives. She's like over, she's like over it's thousands over of thousand. years old. Yeah. Over oh, thousands, thousands of years. Of years. Yeah. Okay. She never changes pretty much. She stays the same. So I agree okay, with so that it's, so it's not like 200 years. It's like a thousand. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say like, I agree with recon that it's kind of a simple concept, but seeing like the human reactions and like the the emotions involved and how it deals with that i think it's far more complex and honestly i think like between the music and how it's executed i think it, it was very beautiful oh, music is really it's nice very very nice and the and, world building uh something else that i'd like to say i think it's very interesting to watch how she begins to like even though she's very unchanging uh the companions that she makes she starts to make decisions differently because she does have regrets exactly and like she starts to like uh like like time is a different construct for her because of her lifespan and it's like you know 10 years is nothing like a decade is nothing or you know five years is nothing and like when it was like oh well we need to find these flowers she goes oh how many years is that like you know there's all of these different um like at, like as she begins to um like travel with her human companions as she's experienced regrets with her pe previous party um you know she's now making an effort to get to know her current companion i think it's very very sweet very lighthearted yes. i love i love seeing you know i love that like she is you know making an effort to to now change she's she's learning from her past right like i'm sure she has a lot of yeah. regrets with i think his name was like mm -hmm. himmel or something the hero himmel, yeah yeah, yeah. The, himmel the hero himmel, himmel the, the hero, hero where they spent 10 years together, they went on this journey, they defeated the Demon King, and then she left for 50 years, and then when she comes back, he's old and passes dead. away. Yeah. And then during, when he's being buried, you see this beautiful emotional moment oh, from Furin. Heart. And I didn't even I, cry. <laughs> I don't know if I, I think I got emotional. I don't know if I, I didn't, relatively I, cried. I didn't cry. I didn't cry personally, but I thought it was Well, we just met the like, guy at, at that yeah. yeah, exactly. But That's it, what it, I'm yeah. saying. It's, we met the guy. I didn't really tear up or anything because I don't I will, even know the hero. It was good. It was good that they were able to kind of show us and it was impressive that they were able to show us uh, with Free Ren so quickly that normally she's not emotional at all because, mm -hmm. you know, she lives a long time and she doesn't get attached that much. But with that scene, it did show that contrast where she actually did get emotional. And we knew it was not something that happens often with her. Yeah. And I think it's like, not just because of the yeah. death of her friend. It's also the regret of, like... I did. I barely even like knew him. Like I didn't get I to know him as much him, yeah. as I would have liked. There was so much more time she could have spent getting to know this guy and spending time with him. But because of her concept of time, she just left for fifty years and came back. You know. Yep. The same thing. Like when she's going back and visiting the old companions too. Mm -hmm. um, like you know, she goes to visit the the dwarf. I forgot his name. But like the the dwarf that has like the helmet and the big beard. And he's like, well, Eisen. it's only been Eisen. thirty years. Yeah. And she's now, like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> I love for structure wise, maybe I, I don't know, but I feel like if they sh like, so after Himmel dies, obviously they're gonna show a bunch of backstory stuff, like with how Freyrin spends time with the party and what they do. But mm -hmm. I, I was like, maybe wondering, maybe if they showed that all before he died, okay, maybe there is gonna be you know more emotion. But I think that yeah, maybe he died too quick in the first episode. I don't know. I feel like. Just I don't I know if all of that in the beginning would have been, like... I mean, yeah, it could have been, like, a prequel or something, but, like, I don't know how they would have done that without making the episodes, like, 45 minutes at least. Yeah, so I think what Recon's saying is, like, what if they spent three episodes on, like, the end of this journey? 
like kind of like yeah. getting some items, training a little bit, defeating the Demon King, having the party, watching the meteor shower, like kind of yeah. transitioning into it a little bit more. Like the story that they're they going for is the first five episodes. Four. Simu uh, sorry, four episodes all together in one go. So maybe it was needed. I don't know. I mm. yeah, Honestly, yeah, I know what you mean. Like you're saying, if we got to see kind of the ending of that journey, we would have there would have been time to show us the characters and how attached they are to each other and get, uh, we would get attached to them more. Exactly. So then when, yeah. so kind of like, kind of like, um, if they did with Oshinoko where we get attached to I, right. And then she's taken away and then, and then you're like, Oh shit. You know, this, <coughs> yeah, exactly. This like she hard. dies in the end, but in the, in the beginning she gets some, some good character development and we feel towards her and we're like, Oh, she is so lovely. And when she dies, we're like, no, no! But with Himmel, when, he, when Himmel died, I'm like, Huh. Who the fuck yeah. was this guy? You know, and, and I mean, I, it's also like you know he lived a long life and died of old age, and he, mm. in that sense, it's like it's sad in a general sense, but you know, it's still you know, it's not a tragedy. It's just life. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying they literally show flashbacks of the party throughout the season, and what Recon is trying to say here, guys, is the flashbacks happen after the the death already happened after because the they're death, flashba flashbacks. He's saying correct. maybe the death. And the emotions fear and felt and the emotions the viewer would feel would be more if they started off with a little bit more context backstory from their journey. And all that. A little bit more of that backstory, show the death, and then do more backstories later. Just a little bit more. Yeah. And I, I kinda agree with that, but at the same time, for me for me, like I feel like this is this is a post journey and it's being executed well in that regard. Um, like I still but felt they emotion. Were, I felt following the, the manga, so you know. I felt them. emotions in in both in both circumstances, um, or like in, in the in what I've watched so far, I really like the old guy and his like kind of trick to make <laughs> to make fear and disciple uh, decipher some book, even though he knew the results, just so she'd spend more time there and teach the uh, priest the, guy. Oh yeah, yeah the priest. The priest. That was yeah, that. Priest. Oh man, I loved the priest, the the, the corrupt priest. <laughs> yeah, like he would teach the young mage and like kind of tricked her. I I loved it. I thought it was so sweet. Someone said something in chat, and I just had to read it because it made me chuckle. I need to find it. It was somewhere up here. Um, so if you gave Furin herpes, would it be immortal herpes? Why? Oh, what the chat the fucking the sucks. What fuck, chat? What <laughs> the fuck, chat? Like, I'm having a serious conversation. I just see that in the corner of my eye. Completely I know. I saw me. the same thing. I'm like, what the fuck, Texas? You little shit. Guys, don't you, don't you know that in fantasy worlds, you don't have any such things as herpes? You never know. Well, One thing that I would have liked to... Like, I don't know if they do this later. But um, I would have liked to actually have a, the magic system be explained a bit more. And, and uh, you know, uh, the kind of the rules and limitations. Because uh, uh, that, I've, that been reading, happen. <laughs> I've been reading more, like, fantasy novels. And often the good ones will have, like, a power system and limitations and and things like that which make it interesting whereas here it the magic seems to just that stuff. yeah like it, the magic seems to just kind of oh it's magic oh i cleaned the statue with magic <laughs> like you know but how does the magic work yeah. and then, you know, that type of stuff it, it definitely does seem like grimoire and spell based but it also seems like you can do it kind of freehand like without the need of that yeah exactly so it was like, just kind of like magic is magic like, I feel like it's, it's, it's just not kind of like it's, magic. It's just simple it's part, magic. Yeah, it's sim I feel like it's very simple, basic fantasy style magic without like, because it's like it's important to the story and it's important to the world, but it's like not so much that they have to like go in and explain the deep powers of it, be like the deep explanations of it. Besides, like I think the most we see of it is like you know the uh, the apprentice, like you know Freerun taking on an apprentice. Yes, and they're kind of teaching her a bit, but again, even that is pretty generic. Bit, but it's like, yeah, exactly. So I don't think, like, I don't think it's necessarily like, I don't think that's the importance of that. Uh, it does, uh, it, like, it, it can explain a little bit more of the world, but I feel like again, this is more of like, uh, like the characters oh God, make the world. It's, still... it's a character-driven story for sure. Yeah, um, and I just, yeah. but I do agree I'm with just, that. Just, like, I found myself. Little... Go ahead. Just I found myself. You know. Hold on, break. hold on. Um, just, just finish off on this topic. Um, you're right. It's definitely not focused on the magic. It's focused on the characters. But like, I just found myself thinking mm -hmm. about it while I was watching. It's kind of like, oh, so how does this work? You know, what are, you know, what are the restrictions? Like that, that kind of stuff. Right. 
Yeah, I think a, a couple extra details would be would be cool to help the world building along because it definitely is a character driven story, and I've come to like the characters, and I think they've succeeded in that regard. But a couple little details could uh, could help improve it. Uh, Recon, what were you gonna say? I was about to say, if you guys didn't know, Freerin is still number one ranked on my anime list. It's been there for quite some time, no, and no. the Full Metal no, it... Alchemist community is fuming <laughs> they're so angry i did not know it was ranked number one it's been ranked yeah, like, number one for a good amount of time now recency actually. biased is a, recency bias is a thing but that's just ridiculous like yeah. if rerun is not the best anime of all time by no, any no. stretch it definitely doesn't deserve number one hell no <laughs> yeah i think it's quite good but not number one i'd give it like yeah. so far it's like an eight point like three out of ten or something i give it but in for mal is that really high i don't i don't even know it's, it's, the FMA know. the FMA community is slack, and normally they wouldn't let that happen. Yeah, they would have review bombed it, but they they seem to be like. But I, I mean, think they've chilled, chilled out a little bit after uh, <laughs> certain ex uh, experiences. A lot of them honestly, are angry they, though. Instances. But still honestly, they're angry, but they're not um, sometimes you deserve to get re review bombed, and and saying free run is the best anime of all time, that's a that's a deserved review bomb, I think. No, but I, I Not think really. any, I think extremes. When something's number one, if everyone starts going and giving it one stars, I wouldn't even allow those. If I was like the website owner, like it's just an unrealistic. Like, no one's gonna watch Fear in and be like, this is a number one. And if it's like a five percent people that do it, okay. But if out of nowhere, like the day it gets ranked number one, you get like a thousand level, like one out of ten stars. It's like I, or I wouldn't even allow those votes. It like I'm not, I'm not even the guy that's like, oh, Full Metal Alchemist has to be number one. I'm just saying that it. Freerun is not number one. Like, come on. Like, yeah, how many anime can you name? It's just that are recency by better than Free Run. It is, but it's Mob just Psycho like, 100. <laughs> there are so many anime that have t that have taken that number one spot. Undeservingly. Like, <laughs> undeservingly. Yeah, it, it it eventually works itself back down, like into where it does. It's just it's just because it's it's out, it's airing, and it's what's popular yeah. right now. I just wish, yeah, I just wish people for... would go and be like, oh, let me give this an accurate rating to naturally bring it down. Let me go and give it a 7 out of 10, and it'll, it'll slowly come down to where it belongs, you know? Right. Like, the you 1 out of 10 is The thing is, people, people, and, like, also the show isn't ended, so, like, of course, you know, people are going to go in as it's airing and then rate it something differently than they probably would with it, yeah. you know? with a finished product yeah but you know some some asshole out there is like freerun is better than <laughs> vinland saga and then you know then you know that gatekeeping is necessary <laughs> oh yeah you just reminded me animac actually because i saw on twitter on my timeline that someone tweeted oh enough time has passed jjk is better than vinland saga and i'm like what yeah so no. i decided to tweet out myself Bro, so what you're telling they're, me they're so different is, I know they're so different, but so I tweeted out so to him. So you're telling me that an anime that is based completely on fighting and action is better than the most than the greatest story-driven, character-driven anime of all time? I don't think so. I mean, something on fighting and action could be deep and could be perfect in so many regards. Um, I just think JKK is not nearly as good as Vinland Saga, and while they're entirely no. different. That's it's just ridiculous how you could watch both series and be like JJK is so much better. No, it's not. No way. I completely disagree. If somebody says JJK is better than Finland Song, is such a beautiful... shout out to Raps Revenge in the chat that said you save this recon, but your number two is Sao. That's true. <laughs> at least, at least he admits that Vinland Saga is better than Sao, guys. So that. It's called progress. <laughs> I love it's Vinland character Saga. development. Dude, that's how good I Vinland Saga it. is. Vinland it's Saga so is such a beautiful masterpiece that even Recon's like, oh my god, I've been so biased towards SAO for a decade. It's been my favorite no matter what, but Vinland Saga still beats it. That's how good Vinland bro, Saga is. Bro, scroll the people that say the season two is bad. It was not bad at all. Yeah, bro, what amazing. do you mean? Like, there was some was masterpiece amazing, moments. Bro. Like, actual, ma like, I remember tweeting about the moment with the the slave lady and, and her husband when, when he, like, when they uh, go off into kind of the the sunset, you know? Bro, like, that is a masterpiece. That scene is a fucking masterpiece. Period. Like, obviously, there's more three. stuff there, but, like, that... Most anime will never, ever achieve just the power of that moment, bro. 
It's just amazing, dude. Amazing, dude. So let's talk about something that's not amazing. Have you guys been watching 100 Girlfriends? You bet your ass I have. What do you mean it's not amazing, <laughs> Briggs? Are you kidding I me? I Briggs, how that dare show, you? Dude. Are you kidding me, Briggs? You say it's bad? It's amazing. 100 it's Girlfriends well. that really, really, you know really love you? 100 dude, Girlfriends is better than Number Vinland one anime saga. of 2023. <laughs> better than Vinland Saga. So I've only Bro, watched one episode. That so funny. It's I've... So bad and so funny. I, I want to hear. Oh, I want. I want to hear your. your I want to hear what Briggs has to say. I just want to say oh, I only watched one episode, amazing. and I will only watch a second or third episode if I am paid to do it. I will not willingly do it. Um, <laughs> oh God! I'm waiting for you someone in chat to recommend it via via subs, um, or for oh, like an anime version or something. God. Like I will not do that shit for free because it was the cringiest. Worst thing I've ever watched in my life. I couldn't even look at the like, screen. It was killing me. Bring me on okay. Anime Listen, Virgin Brigo, for Brigo. that one. I will fucking join you for that. Briggs, you know how... I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the other, like, harem enjoyer friend of Briggs, ours. Briggs, listen. To you know join how for that one. I know oh my you like God. high school DxD and all that stuff. You like DxD, right? You, 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 you didn't mind. I, I, I enjoyed high school DxD. I think it actually had a lot of good things going okay. for it. I'm going to tell you here right now, <clears throat> 100 Girlfriends might be better than DxD. Not even kidding. What? But why? <laughs> because I, I just saw Ryan Reynolds there. The protagonist there. is but a Chad. <laughs> More Chadly than Issei. Better girls, better boba, better everything. So so what? Basically, Recon's thing, oh, and I do kind of agree God. with this. Recon's thing is like, if the guy is gets hit on by a bunch of girls, but he keeps saying no because he's a bitch, that's not as good as a guy who's actually like, yeah, sure, you can suck my dick. It's okay. <laughs> Bro, the thing is, like... I mean, I agree with that, but that doesn't make it good. He tries so hard to make sure that everybody has Equal a time. piece. Equal yeah. time. He wants to split himself up equally because he knows that if he doesn't, they will die. <laughs> <laughs> what an it's anime stupid, concept. Stupid, it's stupid the Yo, that dumbest is, that is concept, that but is I rich. fucking love it. It's it's pr like To be honest, it's just prime entertainment. It's so it's so entertaining That is me. the most anime concept. And, and actually, because it's the of most how anime hentai is. concept. Like, I don't understand John, why watch this the is not a hentai. Episode? <laughs> Dude, I do you, did. Like, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? This so is good. like the perfect hentai setup because you can't get mad at the guy for being with all, all these girls because he's doing it for their own good, right? So it's like the perfect hentai setup. I don't understand why they would not make it a hentai. Remember when I said he that smartphone was the worst anime I've ever watched? <laughs> no! I, I think 100 Girlfriends is like the second worst because oh, no. I feel like smartphone was just bad. This was hard to watch. It was a different type of bad, you know? Like, Come yeah, on, Brigo. It, it physically was painful. It was physically painful to get through the episode for me, genuinely, and I haven't felt that towards an anime in a long time. I watched some what bad like fucking shit. It? What didn't you like about it? The cringe, I guess. Dude, you know how cringy it, it is to cringe. have a dude his entire life get rejected a hundred times and then God be like, now everyone will love you. And then he does nothing and now everyone loves him. Like, yes, <laughs> maybe his interactions after they love him are like kind of wholesome. But like the, it's so funny. the level of cringe and sadness that like I, I, I felt yeah, but, watching this but anime. Makes it, that's like, what makes Rentaro a Chad. He kept going. He kept believing. And then it happened. But he didn't. One of these he, days it'll happen. Don't but you realize. But then it becomes too much. Even. This is why God a literally fucking. literally said, whoopsie. No offense. If you love, if you like this anime, you're a loser. Like, like, oh, okay. like how can you, okay. how can okay. you, That's no, too if, okay. if you, if you relate to the protagonist, okay. and Ed, sorry, sorry, truck. I love you. Okay. Like, Fun. how can you watch a dude get rejected a hundred times, change nothing? Adapt in zero ways. God be like, here, you can have it. Here's a handout. <laughs> the thing is, we don't watch him do it a hundred times. We just watch the one hundredth yeah. time. But it was explained. It, it was they, explained. they showed him as a, as a kid. <laughs> Get rejected. Yeah, they okay, showed look, him as a kid. Actually, the, they showed the first time shown. and the last time. It hurts. If they would have showed the he would have got. <laughs> if they showed that he would have gotten rejected a hundred times, okay, that might be cringe. But they just showed the last thing, so that's absolutely fine. But the concept is still there. It. The concept, the concept is, still is there. It's, it's there, but we don't. I think the author it, needs so to touch some there. grass. <laughs> it's honestly, I just think it's like it's just cringy satire. It's funny. Um... Like Karim. it's very very cringe. It's it's one of those things where it's like so unrealistic. Like, and they also took like I don't know the, for, for whatever reason. Did anybody watch Hotel Transylvania? Y'all yes. remember the concept of Zane? Yeah, yeah. It's that, but a hundred times. <laughs> I think nothing. And bothers whenever they meet, 
whenever they meet, their eyes do that thing, and then it's like, boom. They zinged. They zing. And it's like, oh shit, that's a soulmate. (laughs) Nothing Uh, bothers me more than when when, when a woman in an anime just immediately falls in love with someone. I think that's one of my least favorite yeah. things. It's a pet peeve. It's a pet peeve. It's a pet peeve. When, like, the homie's walking down the hallway, and from one end to the other, two girls are all over him for no yep. reason. Oh, yep. that, that hasn't been your experience? Because it has been mine. Oh, yeah, I also love how he's been, when he has a new girlfriend, sure it he's, has like, Slavic introducing Adonis. them. <laughs> he's like, hey, guys, that's, that's my new girlfriend. Or, hey, guys, check out my new girlfriend. And the, the others don't mind at all. <laughs> yeah, that's totally realistic, too. <laughs> And dude, it was just the interaction. Women are notoriously not jealous. The only positive I could thing I could give is while there were so many cringe interactions, there were a couple wholesome ones that tried to pull me back in. That's the only positive I could think of. No, but you can't because you, know, it's... you, you can't relate to a hundred like a hundred girls, right? Like Chemistry girl is best girl, by the way. You can't bring out those characters, all of their characters at once and make them care about them. You can never make them you care about so many people. And then having them all, you know, throw themselves at this one guy, you're just kind of like, bro, like, it's just so unrealistic. It's sort of fucking. It's also really funny that like each girl is a stereotype in anime. Like they immediately bring out the one that's kind of a freak, and also the soon today in the same episode. Like those are the first two that you meet. You get the one that's an absolute closeted freak but tries to be cute, and the uh, and the soon today immediately off the bat. It's great. Uh, you just remind there me is, of that. There has been some people that say 100 Girlfriends is, I guess it's like a parody of other. Truck it's so, Jen, it's just so stupid. Is. It's so it stupid that I don't is. even find it funny. I just find it cringe. Yeah. You know what if I'm saying? If it's a parody, it has to be funny. If you find if it's so close to the intention of it, or like the thing it's parodying, that you're like cringing because it's it just feels like the thing it's parodying, then it's not really a good parody. Yeah. I, I also feel like if you can't, if, if you don't like trashy isekai and you don't find that entertaining then you're not gonna find under girlfriends entertaining because it's that multiplied by like but it's not an isekai reminded of that one it's not like an isekai but it's a it's a slice of life comedy Mm -hmm. i just got reminded of that one episode when hakari drank that potion stop (laughs) (laughs) i'm not even gonna say anything but briggs if you get to that part stop (laughs) don't 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 speak don't like okay here's a here's an example um, oh clearly, interspecies <laughs> reviewers is a parody, mm-hmm. but that's Remember a that parody that's hilarious. That's a well-written that. parody. Yeah, and that is basically a hentai, and it knows it's basically a hentai, and it's and it's everyone self, knows it's it. very self-aware. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, in in that sense, I feel like it's it works. But I haven't seen this girlfriend one because I didn't even know it was a parody. I thought it was just like. I haven't Another watched... Another recon anime. I haven't watched enough episodes, to be fair. I just can't break myself. Like, I'm... Str- I, there's, there's nothing in me sure other than the fact that I talk it? about anime for, like, a living. Like, other than doing Rank FA and podcasts and stuff, there's nothing in me that wants to watch this at all, right? <laughs> and I feel like... I know, yeah. So if you could get find a way to get paid for it by your uh, yeah. fans well, who want to torture you... Yeah, we um, do we do recommendations on my like when I do watch parties and stuff or someone could just give like two subs or three subs and I'll watch three episodes or something or one episode or something, whatever. I can't remember God, what I do. Please I'm begging Briggs's chat. Briggs, can you can, this, let's play if chess you're Briggs listening and then to this. we'll see what is, the winner gets to pick what anime the other anime chooses. Recon. This is the one time that I will you, willingly Briggs. I will <laughs> I will agree willingly to be on an episode of Anime Virgin with Recon. This is the one time that I will agree. With Recon. Recon. Is, you should watch it because it's so bad and it's so funny. There's a zero percent chance you will ever beat me at chess, girlfriends. Recon. You realize like, I can, I mean, I I can just, I can just give you my queen and you won't beat me. Jeez. Briggs, I have a... I know, I, know I won't beat you. You're just too good. I'm not, I'm not even good at chess. Either. You just. I'm not even the prince of chess. Now. Also, yo, Animac, I'm, I'm on like a three win streak against Gozen right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he he would destroy me all the time. I don't know if I got better or he got worse, but I've been kind of going like I feel like out of like the last five games we played, I've won like I got I got to call him out because he hasn't been bragging about losing. That's for sure. <laughs> 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 Usually, if he wins, he'll be like, "Oh yeah, I beat Briggs today." Bro, I miss Gozen. Well, yeah, normally Gozen's he beats people. me, but I don't Gozen know. Gozen is yeah. the real one. Gozen, the well, actual go. Listen, Briggs, I have an idea for you. People pay for you to watch. Um, 100 Girlfriends with your mom and dad live. <laughs> Dude, 
they'd have to pay like 50 grand that yeah no my, my no dad, i wouldn't you i would to, not I, I wouldn't involve the parents in this one i'm with birds on, on that them. one nope you yeah, have to like do not involve the parents you have don't to involve explain the parents what's in this going one. on to your parents the whole time don't i think they would lose the all respect for me don't involve the parents as as somebody from an italian household don't do that <laughs> like, so you said you had an online business and this is what you've been doing <laughs> You know what's crazy? Yeah, people pay you to watch stuff like this? That's kind of crazy. You know what? Full Metal Alchemist is the best anime of all time. It deserves it spot on about. I just realized I have tried to make my, my dad watch so many anime. The only anime he finished was Full Metal Alchemist. Damn. Take that in. Like he, he, he dropped so many anime that I think are like fire, like Death Note and other shows. Like he just didn't like get me, into I it. Like me, I dropped or, Death Note. But he, yeah, I, I'll screwed. never forget yeah. watching Don't three episodes. Three episodes of Full Metal Alchemist with my dad coming home from school and being like, "Hey, do you want to watch some more?" And he's like, "I'm on like episode. I it. I'm on episode 14." You no, know, I guarantee you. <laughs> I'm I like, love you did, that. Didn't you have to work today? He's like, "Yeah, I've been watching it while working." <laughs> Listen, Brigo, make your dad watch That's... the live action Death Note, and he's okay, gonna say stop. it's hundred times better. Listen, me. stop, Recon. You're ruining a good moment here that That's Briggs brought so up. That's actually so sweet. Because yeah, that is how good Full Metal Alchemist is, and it's not that long. It's like sixty episodes. And yeah, yeah, that's a great example of how great the anime is. It, it's both funny and mature, and and, and and you know at the same time. And yeah, that's a great, really good. Example. I had a very, I had a very. Although similar, I think wholesome, Death Note is good too, but yeah. I had a very similar wholesome moment to Briggs, where um, I watched one episode of the one uh, One Piece live action with my dad. I come downstairs the next uh, morning, well afternoon, um, and my dad was like. I had to go back and he was on the last episode because he fell asleep during it. He was like, I have to watch it. And then immediately afterwards, he started the anime. That's amazing. Oh my God, your dad watches One that Piece. Sucks. It's real. My dad watches One Piece. <laughs> my, mom, my mom also watched um, the like, live action. He's like, I need with, more now. <laughs> with Gozen. Um, I don't think she's going to go into the anime, but she watched the live action and she loved it and she loved Mihawk. So. Yeah, that's what, that's what Gozen told yeah. me. She's like, my, my mom thinks Mihawk's hot. <laughs> I mean, tell me you, tell me yes, me she's my is. mom, but she's not wrong. She's not Base wrong. taste. Your mom's the got good piece taste. Anime sucks balls. Live action better. Shut up, oh Recon. My God, Recon. What? We don't own him. Yeah, we don't own him. We don't claim this one. Yeah, like, and I claim it. And I, we even, like, we're even, like, we stand the live action, which is not something that we, we usually stand the say. live action. Of it's one not piece. something that we would usually say for any live action adaptation. But like, come on, like, you can't just. This, this, the original. Although, I mean, the manga I prefer to the anime, but the anime does stick close to the manga. Absolutely. It just wait takes for forever two. sometimes. But, you know, I'm very yeah, excited for I'm also for excited season for season two. two because we're gonna meet Dragon. There's gonna oh, be a lot of crazy. There's gonna be a lot. It's gonna, it's gonna be so fun. I'm really excited to see what Same. they do. We're gonna it. meet that little hamster, whatever his name is. Hopefully. The little hamster. I do wonder wait, 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 how wait, they're wait, gonna. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about Chopper? Is that his name? I think so, yeah. He's a reindeer, he's you a bastard! Fucking, I was like, he's not a fucking hamster, you asshole! <laughs> then well, I only watched 50 fucking episodes, man. I just don't understand how you can watch the live action. <laughs> you can watch the live action, say you enjoyed it. Watch anime. It's not like you don't watch anime. And then be like, I don't want to watch more of this anime. Like, I understand if you're like... Uh, Animax mom, where she doesn't watch anime, right. but she liked the live action. Like some people will, will stay like live action yeah, only. Yeah, live action only. But if you That's watch funny. anime, I just don't understand how you could be like, I don't want to know more. Yeah, it's so it's so weird. You've watched so many worse anime. I, You're I, watching a hundred girlfriends right now. I know. It's amazing, <laughs> and I don't regret a single minute. Well, I, hate I think you are a special man. <laughs> We're gonna meet some if the good cafe milfs are list. down for more OPLA, then we're in great times. Oh my god, Sam. <laughs> I want to pin that comment. That's, That's so funny. funny. I mean, but yeah, so I, I'm, I, I, do, I do worry a bit that season two is going to stick too closely to the whole um, Garp and um, Kobe stuff. Because I feel like... After that, we really go heavy into the Straw Hats, and I don't think we need equal freaking coverage of Kobe's training. I don't think we and, and need Elmepo's equal training, coverage, you know? but I think that having it as, like, a little bit of a side piece is not bad. Like, actually, because I feel like we didn't really... I don't know. I just, like... I Like, for me, I just remember fucking Kobe and Helmepo going poof! 
and then all of a sudden they appear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So episodes later. So I'm like, I I feel like, I think it's gonna be mainly focused on them actually getting to the Grand Line and everything like that, and like the that uh, whole. Because my stuff, worry is, like this is my be... worry. Uh, in the first season, they kind of in- interjected them way more into the story, so that it makes sense for them to get so much focus. So you right. know, they end up in in. Um, I liked it. Orange, not orange, really, but uh, Arlong Park. Arlong Park. Arlong Park. They end up there and stuff. So. Are they going to do that with everything? So every single place that they go, freaking Garp is there with Kobe and Aleppo. I don't think that's... I don't think it's going to be gonna every be place that they go to, but I think because it's, like, the, you know, the first couple seasons, I think them getting, like, appearing I don't isn't think... necessarily a bad thing. Or them, like, flashing back to the training Yeah. to watch the Chad formation. I don't think that that's going to be a bad thing if they have a couple segments here and there. I think we might see some training and some small stuff, but the whole reason they added the whole Garp and Kobe thing is they wanted a constant... Um, like threat, like a constant chase. Yeah. Like I understand that Garp wasn't really trying to catch Luffy and arrest him, but for an anime live action only or a live action only, for the first couple episodes, that is what you think. So rather than just Luffy and the Straw Hats going on an adventure and fighting pirates like Buggy and Arlong, um, they wanted like an ongoing like threat, a chase. There's a threat. An admiral like Garp and Kobe, someone that Luffy met in the first episode. I thought it actually made sense. And what I think is going to replace it going on into um, Drum Island and the Alabasta saga is going to be Smoker. Like, they tease Smoker at yep. the end. and we yes. know, Oh, yeah. And we know that Smoker follows Luffy into the Grand Line in the anime. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what they're going to do. Like, the ongoing threat is going to be Smoker instead of Garp and Kobe at this point. Yeah, at and that would be good day... because you don't need both of them. You don't need Garb there and Smoker in terms right. of Marines, right? Do we do we meet Boa in the in the next season or no. is that until later no, on? No, that's way later. So what new so <laughs> what new characters are we gonna get? Next Although I mean, season? you could they could introduce Boa just kind of like at a at a um, Warlord meeting or something. Just kind of. Yeah. So what kind her. of characters would we expect to see in season two besides the little hamster? You're gonna see whatever the Robin. fuck his name is. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get to meet Nico Robin. Robin. Okay. Mem- uh, maybe I won't spoil, I guess. But you're gonna you're gonna meet Robin. You're gonna meet Smoker. You're gonna meet Chopper. Doctor Curry. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get Texas yep. Robin. Bro, with the cowboy hat. <laughs> Everyone is. Oh man, I'm still I'm still praying for Jamie Lee Curtis to be Doctor Kureha. That would be actually be I, so sick. I think she I, that's will. The, that is the one like that is the one like like major celebrity like like Hollywood person that I would genuinely want to be in there because she's genuinely passionate about it and loves anime, loves One Piece. Like her daughter's a VTuber, like uh and like she supports like a lot of the nerd culture and loves anime and is passionate about the show and loves One Piece. So I feel like that would be so sick to actually have somebody that is yes. in the field who's a well known name bring it I don't know anything about her personal life. I, I know her as awesome. an actress, but that's cool to know. I, I didn't know if she was Was she family. already confirmed? I don't know. The last thing that I saw was she was like, if they if they land, uh, because the SAG like it was it was the SAG strike, uh, the writer strike, and they're like, if they can get a reasonable um, deal, which they did for the writers guild, mm-hmm. um, then she would uh, be like putting out her like putting her feelers out to be like, hey, I want to audition for this role, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So. But at the end of the day, the one thing that I feel like we can all trust and, like, put our hopes in is Oda having his hand on every aspect of season two like he did with season one. I hope Let's so, be because... Yeah. Inaki is a great actor. But what about Light Turner? I think he deserves a <laughs> shot. Shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> Okay, Loki, that was funny. That was fucking funny. <laughs> I didn't think you were going there, Recon. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, we're also gonna be honestly crocodile. It's, it's uh, good because oh yeah, you, croc? you literally cannot, you cannot butcher One Piece by turning it into a light Turner thing because it's so different than the modern world that you can try to just turn it into a high school kind of thing. So I feel like that was its advantage. It's like we gotta go full crazy like One Piece is because of the world it's oh. in. Whereas with Death Note, they were like. Oh, you know, this is a high school, but in Japan, let's just make it into a high school in the West. And Misa's a cheerleader, and her name is Mina, and it's Light like Turner, <laughs> so and it's trash. So fucking weird. I hated that shit so much. So bad. Um, the acting was pretty oh, good. Oh, we're going to get Bon Clay. Bon Clay? Are we in okay. the second? 
Yeah, he's is he Mr. Two or Mr. Three? I can't remember. Yeah, I guess it all depends how much time they spend on all the different ones because, you know, there's... Yeah, they teased Baroque works in season one. They did, yeah. One so of the I guys feel got like killed. we'll probably, yeah, number seven got killed. Yeah, and, and he was black, the actor, and they were like, Zoro, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> People were like, Zoro, you're not beating the allegations, Zoro. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I think they're going to cover all of the Alabasta saga, personally. <laughs> I I feel them. I, yeah, I feel I feel Alabasta being pretty pretty heavily focused. Well, hopefully they get like ten or twelve episodes instead of eight this yeah, season. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hopefully oh, they yeah, get I, more I to work with. I think ten should be a minimum, man. Like, why not ten? Like, if you don't gotta do eight, do ten. Yeah. Well, They're they gonna, covered gonna, quite a bit in the in the first part, right? Like, they went through the backstories, like the uh, the intro with Kobe and Zoro at um, with Axe and Morgan. I can't remember the fucking island's name. But then you move to Orange Town and you get the Bratier and Arlong Park. They covered a decent chunk, so I, yeah. I don't think it's too far fetched to think that they're going to cover like uh, Log Town and Reverse Mountain in one episode, and then you oh, get yeah. like you get like Drum Island, and they could even skip Little Garden if they really wanted to. Even though we get the Mister Prince moment, which is sick. Um, right. They could do it in a different way, and maybe they could incorporate that into Drum Island. I don't know. And then you get Alabasta. I don't. Yeah, think Yeah, I was going to say they crazy. do. They they did a very good job at like. The stuff that they couldn't necessarily cover separately, they blended together very well. Exactly. You know? Like, it was, like, the weirdest thing to see Arlong and... Uh, and Baratia. And fucking Baratia. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. But I think for the way that the live action, like, this, the, like, how it was um, progressing, I think it made, like, it made sense for the live action itself. And like you said, I hope they get more time because I do feel yeah. like while they made make it they made it make sense and it was still good. Barate and Arlon Park maybe maybe suffered a little bit because of their rushed time frame. Exactly. Like they wanted exactly. to cover the East Blue. They wanted to cover up to Arlong Park for right. people's introduction into One Piece. So I get why mm -hmm. they did it. But with only eight episodes, things had to be cut and things had to be rushed. And I right. Hope if they had ten, yeah. Arlong probably would never have set foot in the Barate. Yeah, we could have gotten a nice and Don Creed moment. The fight could have been made more the Never. fight could have, yeah, they could have, they could have right. spent a little guys, bit more time on the Arlong guys, Park fight. Guys, this is this is too much One Piece for me. Let's let's switch it up. Let's talk about what I mean, the, the fuck, Death man. No Listen, let's talk Listen. about the Death No live action. Let's and talk about the Cowboy on that no, live no boy, that, that is the end of the podcast. I gotta go in D and D Thank a little you for bit here. Yeah, I think us. it's a good time to end it, guys, because Light Turner you know, was amazing. Don't you we are just so, getting to the top of our recon threshold? Threshold. Yep. So, you know, for recon content without going crazy. So, you know, thank you, recon. We appreciate you. Let us you. give Gogoda the gok gok. Light Turner! Reren, is it better than a podcast about the Bolsheviks? Light Turner. No, <laughs> but it's okay. Do you guys want to watch something else for next week? Like another, like, three episodes or something? I think it's a cool little I idea. Think I think we, we should make watch you watch The Girlfriend. 100 episode. Girlfriends. 100 yeah. Girlfriends. No. Watch 100 Girlfriends. No. Watch 100 Girlfriends, invite me back so I can Three see Three episodes of 100 Girlfriends, guys. <laughs> I was going to suggest um, Shangri-La Frontier, but okay. Oh, yeah, that we'll was do that also next really time. good. Fine, we'll do that next time. First, we got to do the Girlfriends. Bro. Let's go, Briggs! We, we get do to the watch more! For the, I'm, for I'll rewatch those three bait. episodes. I'm only watching three. Is that for next yeah, week? Yeah, three. Three. For next week, yeah. Invite me back. I want to see what happens. No, we're going <laughs> to invite Hiding in Public. Oh, okay. Actually, Kill. that would be funny as hell. <laughs> you would have something to say about that. You would have many things to say. We would have many things to say without even watching it. I don't know. People I, I like, we, wanna, we miss hiding in public. It's like, oh, you miss hiding in public. Well, we make him watch. <laughs> like, hiding, we miss you. Would you like to watch three, epi mad. three episodes of the 100 girlfriends that really, really, really love you and then rant about it? He'd come in here and be like, fuck you guys. There's a reason like, why I haven't Fuck you guys been back. for having me back. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm never agreeing to this ever again. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I have a bad, weird sense of humor. I really want to watch these 100, 100 Girlfriends episode, episode and not wa invite Recon for the podcast. Wait, the goth <laughs> voice oh, actor VTuber? On. Which one? There's too many, Texas. I'm kidding, I'm I'd kidding. I'd love to be in that podcast. You're welcome to come next week, Recon. Fine. If you want to invite Hiding, though, I don't mind as well. But it's up to you. Anyway, I got to go, though, well, guys. Okay. okay, yeah, thank you guys. Until next time, see you, Space Cowboys. Bang! Light Turner! <laughs> light Turner? What does Light Turner do? Light Turner! <laughs> All right, did he even say Light Dumbass. Turner or did he say Mike Turner? It sounded like he said Mike Turner. Mike no, Turner! <laughs> Mike Turner. <laughs>
All right, bye guys. Who the fuck is Mike Turner? Who the fuck is Mike Turner? Bye, chat. Love you guys.